Now we take a look at the wide wide receiver position, and like it's a it's a toss up who could possibly be that guy. Jarvis is is gone. He's in Cleveland. Um, as far as in game and consistent, you would go with Kenny Stills. He's the number one guy because you you already we already have going back and forth with Devontae Parker for the past three years. He has not been able to produce due to injury, but. Looking at the pro football focus, like I said, I've been looking at it hard. By the way, it's like sixty dollars for just the just the base membership. It's crazy. But looking at the pro football focus, Devontae Parker is is it's it's not it's not what you see on what you see on TV. It doesn't tell the whole story. So let's look at the acquisitions that we had in the offseason. We we got Danny Amendola. We've got uh, Brandon Albert. I said Brandon Albert. Albert Wilson, excuse me. Honestly, before we even went into free agency, when I already knew that we ended up we were gonna lose Jarvis, I was cool with what we had because Jakeem Grant, he showed flashes of being it being able to be a playmaker. He was fast in the slot, made some big plays for us against the New England Patriots, uh, the Chiefs, like explosive guy. He could take he could take a short a short a short a short route and make it a touchdown. I love Jakeem Grant Grant coming in. This year, being in the slot, Javante Parker and Kenny Steele's on the outside. But due to Danny Amendola coming in and Albert Wilson coming in, it's 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 really I, I'm I'm thinking it's gonna be more of a, a, a spread offense where we're gonna end up having like four receivers out on the field and it's gonna be a, a nice little shuffle. But again, when it, it comes down to Devonte Parker, can he actually emerge to being that top guy? Now behind him as far as his his being able to have those physical attributes i'll probably say isaiah Ford will be next up but not really making a buzz but um i'm i'm my prediction i would say i'm thinking kenny Stills and albert wilson are going to have want to be the ones that are going to have the big year uh considering it considering the fact that Devontae parker is going to continue to bring over that top corner and like two years ago when Tannehill was the starter Kenny Stills was ending up he almost had 10 touchdowns and almost caught over a thousand yards it was averaging over 20 yards to catch so with Tannehill back I'm expecting the same well I'm expecting more from Kenny Stills uh leading into the 2018 season now Albert Wilson he's had great great grades as far as his um as far as his skills runs a 4-3-40 um not too far off from, from Jarvis, just 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 a little, just faster than Jarvis. But uh, Danny Amendola, I just I just he's just gonna be in there to actually be a, a chain mover. I don't see him doing anything really explosive. Just just knows how to route run the right way. Uh, and like I said, Devontae Parker. Let's hope that he can emerge to be in that top guy, a thousand a thousand yard, ten touchdown type of guy. But. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One DeVore. I'm up out of here.